Mike Dell's World number 365. And today is the 26th of October 2021. I think it's time for Mike Dell's World. Wow, I didn't realize that uh, intro is going to be 40-something uh, seconds. <laughs> I'm going to have to maybe uh, come up with a new intro over the next uh, month or so. We'll see. Anyway, and I love to say the word anyway too much, but uh, there we are. I'm Mike, and of course you're listening to Mike Dell's World over at MikeDell.com. This is a blog and podcast from northern Michigan, specifically Traverse City. So, anywho, I'm going to be participating in a couple of things uh, during the month of November, which uh, directly relate, well, one of them directly relates to this podcast. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how much the other one does. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be participating in National Podcast Posting month or Napod Pomo. You'll get tired of that maybe, but maybe not. But over the next 30 days, starting November 1st, which uh, I'm not sure what day of the week that is, but I think it's Sunday. But uh, starting November 1st, I'm going to do a daily podcast. The whole idea for Napod Pomo, it's similar to the uh, National. Writers Month or whatever, I, I name on Ramo or I have no idea what it is. But anyway, it's modeled after that where, uh, you know, authors write, you know, a novel over 30 days or I don't know, 20,000 words a day or I don't know what the, the goal is, but write every day and, and whatever. Uh, but Napod Pomo is uh, a thing. I've participated in it a few times. I've been successful at least a couple of times, once on a podcast help desk and I believe once here. Uh, but we're going to do it again here. Why not? And I'm going to do it a little differently this year. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has done something like this, but maybe they have. You can go check out all the shows that are participating over at uh, napodpomo.org. It's N-A-P-O-D-P-O-M-O dot O-R-G. And anyway, I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to do uh, each day of the week is going to be a different subject. And uh, I'll, so that'll be four or five shows, depending on uh, you know what day of the week, uh, based on topics I like to cover on this show anyway. So on Sundays, since uh, that's kind of my ham radio day, uh, I do a couple of ham radio nets in the mornings on Sundays. Uh, and that's about, you know, I, I mean, I play on the radio a little bit uh, during the week and all that, but usually it's Sunday mornings. That's my uh, radio time. And so I'm going to do a radio-related podcast, ham radio uh, or radio hobbies. Uh, you know, I, I have a, a topic I want to talk about that's not ham specific, but in that same realm. Uh, by the way, my call sign is K8LMJ if you want to look me up on all the ham databases. And you can go see uh, all my ham radio-related info over at K8LMJ.com. And really, that's part of this website at MikeDell.com, but a uh, specific page for uh, my ham radio stuff. That way, uh, people can, uh, when I talk to them on the radio, I just give my, I say, go to MikeCallSign.com, and uh, they can check everything out, what kind of equipment I have, and you know, kind of my normal operating schedule and whatnot. So kind of a, a thing. Anyway, on Mondays, I'm going to do podcast-related stuff. Since I killed Podcast Help Desk, I still want to talk about some of that stuff once in a while, and I have a few subjects related to the podcast industry or podcasting in general or, or audio gear, whatever, something like that. It'll be on Mondays. On Tuesdays, I'm going to do a Traverse City-specific uh, topic or Northern Michigan, uh, you know, something something you know local here. 
which is, uh, I like to do that from time to time. And let's see, on Wednesday, I want to talk about cars or tractors or, you know, some sort of mechanical things. I always like talking about cars and car-related stuff. I'm a big uh, car YouTuber fan of a lot of channels, so maybe I'll pick a channel and uh, tell you all about it or something. Who knows? We'll see. We'll make it interesting, I hope. Um, on Thursdays, I want to do a current events topic, uh, something going on in the news, maybe politicky stuff. So, you know, if you don't agree with me, that's okay. Please argue. <laughs> I, I like hearing, uh, all sides of all topics and, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll get super political. I, I generally don't. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there are some things that would be worth discussing, I'm sure. And uh, Friday, I want to do a history thing, uh, whether it be a fast food history or history of something going on here in Michigan or some history topic. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And uh, on Saturdays, uh, since that's kind of my actual day of rest, you know, uh, Sundays I've usually got lots of things going on you know, with ham radio and family stuff and, and whatnot, but Saturdays is usually my day to goof off or uh, get stuff done around the house or whatever. So I'm going to call that the host choice. Of course, all these shows are my choice, but <laughs> it's because I got my own show. If you want your own show, be sure to uh, check out blueberry.com, B-L-U-B-R-R-Y.com. Who's my uh, host here? Uh, and, I, and, and my employer. So <laughs> I guess that's relevant, but uh, if you want a free month of anything you want uh, over at Blueberry that we uh, sell over there, any of our services, you can use the promo code Mike. And really soon, and I'm not sure if it's going to be in effect just yet, but really soon that'll give you two months free of hosting or statistics or uh, you know anything we do. We even host websites. Uh, I have, uh, you know, podcast help desk, even though the, the show is dead, the site's alive, and that's hosted over at Blueberry.com. Blueberry with no ease because we couldn't afford it. That's what I'm always told anyway. <laughs> but uh, Napod Pomo episodes, you know, where they're not really meant to be the best episodes ever, but I'm going to do my best. Uh, I'll give it a shot anyway. Make them short. Make them fun. Uh, you know, what can you say? It's always fun to... Listening to people, uh, you know, go from nice fall weather to, to winter. And, uh, you know, I, I listen to some of the shows. Some of them, they, they do shows over there at napodpomo.org. You know, some people do show, shows that are, uh, you know, specific to uh, November, to the, you know, to just this event. They, they, you know, it's not their normal podcast. I'm doing it on my normal podcast. Why not? Gets my numbers up. <laughs> at least gets my uh, episode count up. Uh, you know, I've been at this, uh, wow, 16 and a half years. Can you believe that? Uh, you know, on and off, fits and starts, uh, as I say about everything I do. You know, I, ironically, the other podcasts that I do, Podcast Insider, uh, I haven't missed a week. I mean, I've missed a couple of weeks, but the show hasn't missed any weeks because uh, I have co-hosts and producers and and, uh, you know, we have a whole team behind that one. So uh, I, I'm talent. I kind of like that. <laughs> I don't have to do any of the hard work. I do the show prep. But uh, other than that, uh, I just talk into the mic. And uh, Kate uh, makes me sound better. She's our editor. And it's, uh, it's a wholly different uh, thing than uh, what I do on my own, obviously, because uh, I can't stay consistent for anything. But we're going to do our best to do it this month. The other thing I'm working on and I'm starting early, is the No Shave November. And uh, I can't remember what the website is. It's no-shave.org. And basically, uh, for the month of November, I'm not going to shave. And uh, actually, I started a little early getting my uh, winter beard on here, but uh, we're going let it, to let it fly for a month and see how far I get. And uh, I'll be posting pictures. Uh, I will do it weekly. I'll post them, you know, along with the podcast posts over at MikeDell.com. But uh, you can see my progress. It's kind of funny, you know, since my beard has all gone gray. My hair's not gray yet, but my beard has all gone gray or mostly gray. Uh, 
it's kind of hard to tell that it's uh, filling in on the sides. I mean, you know, it's it's fairly sizable. I can't quite grab it. <laughs> anyway, I started early. But uh, we're going to let it fly, and then at the end of the month, I'm going to donate uh, uh, two haircuts worth of uh, of money to uh, to the charity there at uh, no dash shave dot org, I believe. Yeah, see, I I forgot. Yeah, it's no dash shave dot org. There'll be links in my post over at mikedell.com. I'm trying to get away from the the term show notes. Just because uh, that confuses a lot of a lot of uh, potential podcasters because they think there's some special place that you post show notes and you really don't. You know, show notes are, are really just the post that you write. You know, the description or you know whatever you want to call it uh, of the episode. You know, when you post an episode, at least the way I do it, you know, make a blog post, and whatever you put in the big box is the show notes or the post content or the uh, blog content or the description or the this or the that. (laughs) Summary, I guess, is another word. But uh, the word show notes just confuses people. So we're going to just say the post over at MikeDell.com for episode 365. Let's see. uh, Yeah, actually, it's been a while since I've done one. I always say that, don't I? Um uh, let's see, it's 40, 44 degrees here at uh, Cherry Capital Airport in Traverse City, Michigan at uh, 8.16 p.m. October 26, 2021. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything else to say. My wife's out of town, so uh, I've been batching it. Uh, she comes back tomorrow, so tonight uh, I did the, the dishes and got all the trash out of the house, you know, all the stuff that uh, I would normally be doing as I made the mess, but, uh, you know, she's been gone since Saturday. So, you know, I built up a mess, <laughs> but she comes back tomorrow. So, uh, I got to start flying uh, straight and level. Um, I think I told you about my new truck. Uh, I uh, had a little, uh, occasion to make a, a lap around Northern Michigan, uh, last Wednesday. Uh, you guys that have been with me a long time, remember I used to work for a courier company. I used to do a route that uh, went to several hospitals all over the north part of lower Michigan here. And I just needed a day away from the desk. I, so I took a, took a day off and, uh, I took off at seven in the morning, just like as if I was doing that route and, uh, I drove the route and, you know, it was kind of nostalgic. That was the that was the thing. Uh, so that was fun, but, uh, yeah, got to go visit, uh, Wirt Smith air force base, which is, uh, now called Ascoda County regional airport or, or something like that. It's, <laughs> they have no commercial flights. It's, uh, basically a giant maintenance center for, for, uh, 747s and 767s. And, uh, also seems to be a parking place for, airliners that uh, needed a place to park that uh, couldn't get in the desert somewhere. So I went out there and the ramp was just simply chuck full of airplanes and you got a big engine plant over there that, uh, specifically works on 747 engines, but I do believe they do others, but, uh, there was a bunch of planes in there for maintenance, uh, doing, uh, engine overalls on, uh, on, a, you know, and, I don't know what inspections they have to do, but I know they they have some sort of phased inspection on those big commercial cargo airplanes, mostly cargo. And uh, that was fun to go check out. But uh, yeah, so I got to run the truck a little bit and, uh, you know, I hadn't really run it on the freeway or anything. There really wasn't much freeway on this trip, but uh, overall I got 18 miles to the gallon, which is pretty good for a full-size four-wheel drive truck. I thought, and uh, just in time with gas prices rising as they they have been, unfortunately. Let's go, Brandon. Anyway, <laughs> I, I don't want to get too political, but uh, anyway. 
And how many times have I said anyway? You know, I should have a a, a sweepstakes. You, you count the number uh, per episode and the first one and get some sort of prize. I don't know. <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, I'm going to cut this one short and since I'm going to be doing a lot of talking with you guys over the next uh, 30 days, starting November 1st. So be sure to uh, carve out 15, 20 minutes for, for me uh, for this month. That'll be good. And uh, geez, by the end of it, I'll be doing Thanksgiving. I'll probably have snow on the ground, uh, you know. Right now, the, the I just said the weather, uh, 46 degrees now, uh, and obviously no snow on the ground. Uh, the leaves are, I, I still have green leaves in my yard. You know, all the trees in my yard, I would say, are 90% green leaves, but some of them have fallen. Not, not green, but the, the, the ones that have turned have fell and uh, starting to get some leaves. I uh, completed a couple of projects here on my uh, office slash shed slash studio, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a video on the site there if you want to see what it was like about a year ago. But uh, two things I did, uh, I got the uh, walkway in. So now I have an official uh, paver stone walkway from uh, the patio in the back of the house uh, out here to the uh, office. So that's a, a great thing. Now, uh, I'm not tracking as much dirt in here. I actually had plywood laid down on the ground for a year to uh, keep me from tracking stuff in here. But uh, now now it's nice. Uh, I built up. I put gravel down and, you know, leveled it out and and put some topsoil on, uh, you know, where the paver stones weren't. So I may actually be able to grow a little grass here next summer. I don't know. And... Got that done, and then just this last weekend, I got all the uh, skirting on. So I actually enclosed out, out from under the shed. You know, this is built on a uh, block and post uh, sort of foundation. Uh, we dug them in a little ways uh, and put down cinder blocks and then got four-by-four four posts, and there's like nine of them holding it up. Uh, and so far, it's you know it's level. I can put coffee. I can put a coffee cup on the desk here, and it doesn't slide off, so it's good enough. But uh, anyway, uh, I put skirting around it, uh, just plywood or OSB really, all around it. And then uh, we got some rocks, some rather large rocks from uh, Sugar Island, and I'm gonna place those around the base. Uh, but that should uh, warm up the floor a little bit. I do have insulation down there, but it's only, you know, like four inches of foam, uh, you know, press board, or not press board, I don't know, it's foam board in between all the joists, and got all that in there, but uh, I don't think, uh, you know, that's sufficient if uh, there's wind blowing underneath the thing, so uh, now I've got the skirting on, so it should keep the the floor a little warmer this season. I know uh, last year when it got down close to zero uh, outside, you know, the shed was nice and warm from, you know, foot off the floor, <laughs> but the heater's down on the floor. So it was cranking the heat. So it'd be 80 degrees up top and my feet would be freezing. So hopefully this will even out a little bit, uh, you know, with it being in the forties, I've had the heat on and, you know, I'm keeping a nice 70 degrees in here or whatever, and it's fine. And, uh, probably take the air conditioner out of the window tomorrow and hoping I won't regret that, but I doubt I will. <laughs> I can always open the windows, I suppose, but anyway, that's, uh, that's that. All right. We'll call this an episode. Everybody uh, have a good few days before Napod Pomo starts here at Mike Dell's world. Again, you can always find me at MikeDell.com. Uh, even if I disappear from your platform of choice, you never know. But uh, you can always find what's going on over at MikeDell.com, and uh, I will catch you next time. <laughs>